Assalamu alaikum. Dear viewers, hope you are all well. Dear friends, today I will tell the story of my son's Hajj, what happened to mother and son in time. Today I will introduce you to this video. Here you are before the video starts. Give the video a like now and bell subscribe our channel. Click the icon, so let's get started. It is known from one person, someone. Once upon a time there lived a poor mother and son in a village. The boy's name was Abdullah, and Abdullah's mother was a very holy woman. Abdullah knew his mother had a great wish, but his mother would never reveal. Abdullah heard it when he was young, his mother used to tell him, Abdullah, I will take Hajj. When Abdullah grows up, will stand on his own feet, take all my responsibilities, then Abdullah will take me to Hajj. Now Abdullah has grown up, and is working. But his job is more than that because it is small. As he could not earn, Abdullah's mother was his, he doesn't talk about this wish anymore as if it were his son's, there is no trouble. But Abdullah decided that one day he will see his mother, I will take her to Hajj. Abdullah for several days money was accumulating and his mother was also for nothing. He ate whatever was given to him. He was happy that his son respects him, tries to keep him happy. There are many hopes and aspirations around the mother's Abdullah. She asked Abdullah to marry her but Abdullah always agreed saying now he doesn't want to get married. But actually Abdullah knew that if he married, the expenses would increase. He will go and after marriage, the money for his mother will be difficult for him to accumulate that which is accumulating. Then the responsibility of the wife will come to the head and the wife will also be important to fulfill the need. Such a day when Abdullah came to perform Hajj to Baitullah, the required money was deposited, so there was no end to happiness that he was his mother's dream of the year. He is from the bank, took all the money, and left for home. Mom will be so happy today, thinking about it. He was happy when his mother heard this news. I don't know how happy he will be. It is his home, was a short distance from. Such time with him, he met his friend. She was crying and looked very devastated. He said to Abdullah, Abdullah, help me, my son fell down from the second floor. His head is broken. When he was taken to the hospital, the doctor operated on him, said to do it. And they are asking for a large sum of money to operate. As long as I don't have money, I will submit. Till then he will not start his operation. Abdullah, God bless you, help me. This is my only son. He is very dear to me. I would die without him. Abdullah, you help me. I don't know anyone but you. Abdullah heard his friend and saw his condition. I suffered a lot. His head stopped working. Did he was lost in thought? On the one hand, on the other hand, the life of a friend's son was to make the mother perform Hajj. This money was Abdullah's life savings. So Abdullah wondered what he should do now. At that time, his mother's voice came to his ears, where his mother was saying that when Abdullah is with you, when someone comes for help, you let him go, do not hand back. Allah is many helpers likes he doesn't help anyone, you give whatever, Allah will give you back his tithe. Abdullah was at that time to help his friend take the decision and leave the money from your own pocket. He took it out and gave it to his friend. The friend thank you very much departs to destination. And Abdullah is from his own house headed towards even if his face is bored, he was happy thinking that he was in his friend's work, it seems, but even the thought of it pained him that he could not fulfill his mother's wishes. When his mother is the cause of his anxiety, asked, then she avoided him. At night he prays Isha to Allah, he cried a lot, and said, Oh Allah, you know my state of mind, I wanted to take my mother to perform Hajj, but now I can't do that anymore. Empty-handed, so I can't even take Hajj, now God you give patience to my mother. If he is in this life cannot attain the fortune of performing Hajj, then arrange for him to perform Hajj in Jannah. My mother's mind is very good and clear. Give him the good fortune to perform Hajj. After saying this, he prostrated and started crying. The next day when Abdullah went to the office, then he saw his friend from yesterday. That friend saw Abdullah and ran with him. He squealed. He said, how am I yours? Will I pay this debt? Today because of you my son is alive, Abdullah head, he shook his head and said, no, it is yours in God's power. The boy survived. That friend said, without a doubt, my brother, Abdullah's boss is very good and kind. He was a man of faith. To do lottery every year, whoever's name came later, he would send him to Hajj. As luck is good, this time Abdullah and his friend's name came up. But Abdullah was worried, thinking that he is with his mother on Hajj this time, can't take it. Seeing him worried, his friend said, you are so worried. Why is it showing? You should be happy. Say that you are going to visit the house of God. So why are you worried? Abdullah to his friend. He told the whole story, his friend is smiling. He smiled and said today is the time when I, I can repay your favor. Abdullah turned to his friend without understanding, looking at him he asked, what do you say? Do you want? His friend said, you are my replacement, take your mother to Hajj. 
Listening to a friend, Abdullah was very happy and with his friend he squealed, then, Abdullah his mother, he took Hajj with him. One during Hajj the family was performing Hajj with them, they saw that Abdullah was much like his mother was paying attention. Sometimes he killed his mother while feeding, sometimes he presses his mother's feet. That family liked Abdullah so much that they offered his daughter in marriage to Abdullah. As a result, he got married in the city of the Prophet, Subhanala. Today's incident will wake up your soul. Please watch the incident till the end. Assalamu alaikum friends, hope you all are well. Dear friends, there was a milk seller in Lahore. In the mind of that young man, he had a strong desire to perform Hajj. When someone was returning from Hajj, he met them with hope and enthusiasm and in their hands, he used to kiss. Once he asked the people going for Hajj how to do it. Someone told him to do Hajj in Karachi, had to stay and delivered him to the station. Now at the station, people started asking that they want to go to Karachi. In Karachi, how does it go? He wandered around the station for a few days, once a train conductor thought this poor guy had been hanging around here for days. So he went ahead, he says to the milkman, sit in the train with me, I will take you. Thus, he reached Karachi. At Karachi railway station, then he started asking people if he should perform Hajj, want to go, how to go. Someone showed him the road to the Haji camp, he reached the Haji camp. There were many people going for Hajj, but this poor man had no ticket, no passport, and no money. But he had a strong desire to go to Hajj. One day he thought of going to Hajj, the porters of the passengers are allowed to board the ship. So he befriended a porter and disguised himself as a porter, began to put things on board. Under the pretext of keeping the milky stuff, he started coming and going on the ship again and again. When picking up all the stuff, after that, he hid quietly in a corner. There he took off his clothes and sent back the porter's clothes. The people started sleeping on their beds and the poor thing sat and passed the time. He said to a man in the ship that brother when Jada call me when you come. So when Jada arrived, then the man said to him look Jada has come. Then he, the milkman, climbed on top of the ship and jumped into the sea standing up but he didn't know how to swim. That's why once he was down after that he didn't come up. The man saw the milkman who was nowhere to be seen so he thought maybe he drowned. He thought may Allah grant this. Then, when he performed Hajj and performed Tawaf, when he was coming out of Harim Sharif, he saw that the milkman was also coming out of Harim Sharif. The man said to him, You are the one in the sea, he jumped into the water. The milkman replied, Yes, I am. The man asked, What happened to you? The milkman said, With me, I will tell you what happened. That's why the man, a milkman, started walking along. A car and a driver came out waiting outside, the milkman got into the car and so did the man, seated and taken to a huge house. That man at home sat down and told the servants to bring something for the guests to eat. Following this a servant brought some fruits. The man saw this he asked, brother tell me what is the story behind all this? The milkman replied, I will tell you the whole story later. First you see my car, this is my car and this house is also mine. The man asked, these, how do you get something? The milkman said, it is a secret, but you. Since you know about me, I am telling you. The milkman said, I had a great desire to see the house of God and these are the results of that desire. When I reached Jeddah, I said to Allah, O oh Allah, I am I surrender myself to you. Saying this, I plunged into the sea. I can't swim but I started to stretch my arms and legs. The current of water began to push me to the edge. Water entered my stomach. So I fainted and I was lying on the edge of the sea. When I came to my senses, it was time for Tahajud prayer. I looked around to see I found that all the exits were closed with iron grills all around, the gate was closed and the door was closed. I sat down in front of the gate, I saw a house in front with a cow in its yard, the barrier is behind, two men came to pray for milk, but the cow was theirs, pet didn't mean it, so they could not overcome him at all. So they couldn't drink milk in Doha, but this is my job. So I call them to me with a shout and signal to them that I can milk it. Those people spoke Arabic and could understand so I pointed to them and explained that I am, I can extract its milk. Look at the mercy of God. I am the gate I was stuck in front, it was the front house owner's area. He had a son, whom the doctor advised to have a cow milk is fed. The cow was originally brought for his son. There was a lot of milk in the cow, but she did not let it out. That's why Seth and his wife had to face a lot of trouble. But when I told them that I was giving cow's milk in two to the passengers inside, one of them says that I am milking the cow. Seth said, go get this key and bring him in. Door with two keys opened and came to me. When I caressed the cow and I spoke to him in a gesture, then he agreed. As a result, I, I, I sat down and gave them eight, 10 liters of milk, Seth's wife. 
He was happy to see this and started saying, Today my son is a cow, all day he will drink milk. He further said, Don't let this milkman go. When with Seth, then he said, Who are you? I said, I am from Pakistan, I came to perform Hajj. Seth says, We will not let you go, you, you can pray for good milk. I said, I will give milk in two. But I have to do Hajj too, Seth said, Don't worry, we will also make you perform Hajj. On the second day, Seth's wife to her father-in-law called and explained all the incidents, his father-in-law's 200 cows or buffalo. There was a farm, so he was very happy when he heard me and said, we need such a person. He called Seth and said, send it to me. Seth, me, his father-in-law, he sent it to me. His father-in-law said to me, I belong to you here, I am responsible. Your duty is to milk the cow morning and evening. When it came time to milk, I milked the cow for 20, 25 minutes. He was very surprised and started thinking, what can come out of so much milk? She has never had so much milk before. The man told me, you stay here, we will make you perform Hajj Devo. I told him I have to go back to my house. So he said, no, you have to stay here. I told him, mine wife and children are there. He said, don't worry, I am here. I have built a new house. I give it to you and here is mine. I am also giving you the car as a gift. Now you are me. Tell me the name and address of your wife and children. I am writing a letter to them. They will also reach here in the next ship. You are with them once perform Hajj. Rather you perform Hajj once every year. Now, after a week my wife and children will reach me and I, I have done Hajj. It is the result of visiting the house of Allah. Allah Pak has also given me worldly blessings. Now I will stay here, and every year I will perform Hajj of Baitullah Sharif. Subhanallah friends, what do you have to say about today's incident in the comment section definitely say 